Could you give me a ride? Ooh, yay! Whee! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another TMNT figure review set on the Nicktoons Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dimension X basic figures of Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Gotta give a big thanks to Playmates Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from Playmates, check the links below. I like the packaging over here. Each one has uh, the character right over there on the side. So you get Donatello, you get Leo, Raphael, Mikey. All looks really neat. Now on the back of the packaging, there's a read-up on Leonardo. If you want to read it, pause it now. And we get a read-up on Donatello. One Read it, pause it now. Read up on Raph, pause it now. And a read up on Mikey, pause it now. You can see all the other figures that have come out from the basic line. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the space turtles out of the packaging. I think these space turtles look really cool. I just keep wanting to call them space turtles. I don't know. I just think they're pretty awesome looking. Now, they did reuse the battle shell figures for these, and they do have new head sculpts, so I think that's pretty awesome. I like that they have unique space armor, so that's really cool. And there is a different version of these four figures plus the Fujitoid in an exclusive five pack where they're all vac metaled out and they have that awesome chrome finish. But these are looking pretty awesome too. So let's take a closer look at these guys. So let's first look at Leonardo. Okay, so I think these figures are cool, but there are some gripes that I do have with them. Uh, for instance, as we'd seen at New York Toy Fair, these all had the boots and this guy does not have boots, nor do any of the other turtles. So that would have been cool if they had the boots. It would have really completed this look over here because how could you walk around in Dimension X or in space, you know, without any space boots and then the weapons over here I think it's really awesome that they use this translucent blue plastic it is a little bit warped right over here yeah that's a little bit of a bummer this one's a lot better but I think this looks cool but I think they could have added some white paint at least to the handle right over here uh, you know the role-playing toy that uh, you saw me review actually had a lot of paint on it so having some paint on these I think would have been pretty nice I do like how this helmet looks though I think this is really cool how they have this silver paint right over here at the top and I like how the white plastic is this nice pro white color. I think that's pretty neat looking. Get some nice paint apps right over here. And I really love how these are all individually sculpted for each turtle. So this is not a repeat thing. And then we get some nice blue right over there. I think the L is inaccurate to how that looks in the show. You get these little leg guards right over here. These little knuckle pieces you have to attach yourself and then these can come off. And I just really like how the figure is articulated even though it has all this armor and stuff on here or the space gear. And you can see the battle shell hinge right there on the side and this belt isn't really removable. I'm going to demonstrate that articulation on just Leonardo because they all have the same articulation. Uh, first off you can open this up right here so I need to demonstrate that and you can turn the head side to side so you can see how that turns and it can look up and down and you can close that back up. The shoulders move outward, you can move them forward, you can rotate up at the top of the shoulder, you can bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow and rotate at the wrist. No waist movement but the legs can move outward. Uh, come on legs, there you go. You can move them outward like that. It's kind of tricky and then you can move them forward a little bit too, just only a tiny bit and they bend at the knee and they rotate at the knee. So removing all the gear, it's pretty easy. Uh, you can just take off these right here. Come on, there you go. Take this off. Take this. Oh, actually, it's easier to open that and then take that off. And then these four or these bicep bands and then the little leg bands right on here. Come on, get naked, Leo. And there we go. We got naked Leonardo. There he is. And you know, it doesn't really look too different. Now, there is a way to get this off if you really want to. I'm not going to go through the trouble of trying to remove this whole piece, but yeah, you can see how the shell kind of opens up just a little bit right over there. So, you know, this looks all right. I don't know why you'd want to leave it displayed like this. I think it's just much cooler having all the accessories attached. Before we move on to the next turtle, I just want to say I really do like this head sculpt. Very nice expression right there for Leonardo. He looks concerned. And then here's Donatello. I wish I used the black backdrop for the Leonardo. So there you can see the details a little bit better with the black backdrop right there. And you can see how it's different on the Donatello. Again, I like the head sculpt. Same deal, you can lift this up right over there and you can see the head sculpt looking really good. Very disgruntled Donatello. Really nice details in this. Again, I like that pearlescent white right there. These bands and these little knuckle pieces are the same. The belt is a little bit different because it has the D right there. And then these little leg pieces right here are different on all the turtles as well. And here's looking at his bow staff. It's all translucent. Again, I think they should have added some paint to these. And getting these guys to hold their weapons is a little tricky just because they have these little knuckle pieces inside their hands, but they'll still hold their weapons. And I do wish that they had weapon storage of some sort. That would have been pretty nice. And here's a look at Raph. 
Raphael, looking kind of happy to be in space, right? Look at that, nice looking Raphael right over there. Kind of dark on the red paint, I think, especially compared to the red on the rest of the figure, right? But again, nice details that we get right over here. I think that looks really good, a little bit of black paint right in there. Then you get those knuckles again, and get his unique little legging pieces right over there. And of course this closes and opens on its own. And then here's his space size, looking really nice with this translucent red. I'm liking it. And here's Michelangelo, who seemed to be one with Dimension X. I thought that was hilarious the way they wrote that. But anyway, looking at the head sculpt right there, very happy Michelangelo. I like that. Again, some unique sculpting right over here for the space armor. I think that's really good. Little lines etched out in there and everything. Same thing on the back of the helmet. And he has his leg pieces right over there. And then he does have tonfas instead of nunchucks, which I think is pretty interesting. And these look pretty cool. You know, I like them. Uh, you know, nothing too shabby about them. I think they're actually different sizes though. I think one is bigger. Yeah, one is actually just a little bit bigger than the other, but it's all good. So these are figures from the basic line, and the tallest one obviously being Donatello. He's just under five and a half inches tall. The shortest one being Michelangelo. He's right at five inches tall. And then here they are next to Leonardo from the first run of the basic figure line. And you can see Leo's shorter than the rest of these. And then here's the turtles next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Hey, I've always wanted to be a part of your crew. Hey, I'm already all green. Got some fighting skills. Check it out. Whoa. Oh, you guys must be nice. So I definitely had my gripes with these figures, the lack of the space boots. I think we could have used some more paint on these, but at the same time, I'm very stoked about all these accessories hanging on to the figures while I was doing my stop motion segment. I was posing them around, and I think only one little knuckle piece right over here on Raphael fell off. So I think that's really cool. You can still pose these while having all these accessories. And I'm also glad that they added new head sculpts to these figures. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're of the age of 18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Here's Michael Lange. Oh.